Koji Jonah is Edmonton's best rapper. Grew up in the city. My roots are in this town, you know. I've done, done everything you can do in the city, you know. So that's who I am. I'm Edmonton's best. I'm the only artist from the city who is getting on billboards, who's getting out of the city, getting flown around the country for shows, and really expanding my reach. YGMG is YG's music group. Me and my man Korda, shout out to Korda, shout out to Outfall. We started that up way back in grade 11. And uh, we just went running with that, turned that into a business, uh, an entertainment enterprise. That's what we're using as a label to make Edmonton's music scene grow. We're growing with a lot of artists and producers in the city who are extremely talented and equally as passionate. YGMG, we got Quota, Young Sos, MZ, Lil Simba, Mazin, Lex Bino, a couple other producers, Discover Sounds, Digital Dash, and the list goes on. We have a lot of artists that we and producers that we're working with expanding our reach. Born in Manchester, but raised here. I came here when I was a toddler, so from, from the time I was walking to the time I was running these streets, I've been in Edmonton, I've done everything from here. I was raised on the south side, played hockey, like all these other kids from here did too, you know? So I'm really connected with the city. I love my city. I want to see the city that I grew up in flourish. My life, the things I've been through and continue to go through in my life is what inspires my music. I've been through a lot, you know, I experience things that younger kids would never, that people would never see in their lives. I feel like I've lived 10 lifetimes. So that's what inspires my lyrics. All my lyrics, if you know me, you know they're all factual. I fuck with Kodak Black Heavy. Shout out to Project Baby 2. I fuck with 21 Savage, Dave East, Meek Mill. Those are some uh, heavy inspirations to my music. Migos, of course, yeah, shout out to Migos. Quavo, I like Quavo a lot. So yeah, those five artists there, what I say are my main influences as of right now. Uh, my process for making music. So usually it starts with a beat. I find a beat, I connect with the beat. I like the way it's banging, you know? I'll start vibing to it and I'll just start humming along to the beat. Finding a good flow. Yeah, like that, like that. Something like that, you know, something that vibes and grooves with it. And then once you find the flow, it's easy to put words into it. And the words just come with freestyle on the flows that we find. And then we record our freestyles that we like to keep, don't like, we'll take that out, put something else in. Some of my songs are written on my mixtape. A lot of those songs, they were written because that's me kind of telling my story to the world. So those songs are written, but in general, even before we start writing them, to get the basis for the writing, we just freestyle. Now, whatever emotions and feelings come up through those freestyles, we'll write them down and build off of those ideas. Yeah, all my, all my songs to date, I probably have a few YouTube beats, but the vast majority that we're looking at are all original beats. And uh, since I've drawn my mixtape, I've moved forward all my songs on my mixtape. Nine out of the 11 mixtape beats were all original, and all the other songs I've dropped since then are all original beats. I've just been working with more and more producers, so I don't feel the need to be going on YouTube and SoundCloud looking for beats. However, there are amazing producers out there that I've been reaching out with. One is uh, The Lab Cook. You know, famous Dax and all of them, which everybody does. I've worked with the Lab Cook. Another DJ down in Florida, Ty the Plug. He's amazing. He's worked with many big artists. I worked with um, Young Tories producer as well. So, yeah, there's quite a few producers that we have access to, so there's no need to go online these days and siphon beats. I've worked with quite a few local artists. I just recently dropped a collaborative EP called Three Bang with 780 Skirt, shout out King Drippa and Ify Dots. I really like working with artists who have a body of work behind them that have, they have put in, in the time to show that they're an artist and not just someone who just pops out of the woodwork trying to be an artist overnight because they see that niggas are popping off on them. We're always working. Every day we're in the studio coming up with new songs, new mixtapes. So currently, we got a couple videos on the way. I don't want to spoil too much. I got a bunch of uh, new tracks on the way too. We got some artists from the States on a couple tracks, artists from Toronto. We've been linking up with some producers down in Florida. So we have a lot of ammunition coming your way. The five years, I see myself in the States. Um, somewhere nice, Miami preferably. 
still doing the same thing that I'm doing. I'm gonna be on the double XL list. I'm gonna be a household name across the continent, doing shows, doing numbers. It's just gonna be the exact same thing we're doing here in Edmonton on an international scale. I'm on all streaming services, so Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon Play, SoundCloud, the list goes on. You can find my music anywhere where there's being yeah, where music is being released. Yep, dot piff, we're on dot piff. We're on my mixtapes. So wherever you listen to music, OG Jones is there. Next we got a preview show on the way, September 1st. It's gonna be a huge show. We've done a lot of marketing for that. It's going really well. A lot of people are gonna be there. We're expecting to pack out the venue. So that's what's next. We're also gonna be going out of town again. Going down to Calgary, going out east to Regina, to Toronto. Gonna to be going back to Vancouver in a few months as well. So we're making moves out here. Next year as well, I'm gonna be on a Canada-wide tour, starting in uh, in Victoria, ending in Montreal. We're gonna be doing some big things with a TV company, so it's all gonna be televised. So just wait on that. The official release for all of that will be coming soon. Some people that have really inspired me that played a big part in my music career today. Lil Simba, Wale, that's you, man. He's inspired me like crazy. This guy eats, sleeps, and breathes music from the day I met him. So he's a huge inspiration. Another gentleman, Mazin, who I mentioned earlier, is an artist that I work closely with. He's extremely passionate, extremely talented. He's a huge inspiration to me. Lexi Vino is another big inspiration to me musically in the city. Shout out myself, first of all, OG Jonah. You can follow me on Instagram at OG Jonah. Check out my videos at OGJonah.com. Follow me on Snapchat, OG Jonah. Everything's OG Jonah. So just put in OG Jonah anywhere. You'll see my sexy ass face. I want to shout out my mans, Lex Vino. Shout out Lil Simba. Shout out Kanto. Shout out TK Cabral. Shout out Koshin. Shout out my man, Nug Money. Shout out Nova Mills. Salute for doing this interview. Holding it down in the city. Another artist who's been grinding out here and has a nice body of work so make sure you check him out too his instagram is noble mills uh shout out to skinny steve skinny steve actually has a uh, project dropping he's a producer in edmonton he's been going hard the past few months working to get 15 artists on a mixtape which is something that hasn't been done in our city before that's going to be dropping pretty soon i'm on that in a couple tracks too so stay tuned for that you'll see that everywhere on our social media shortly